Okay, hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how you can use a JW Player as an audio player as well. Now if you look on my page here, I have a, a regular audio player right here. And I also have this big, it looks like a video, but if you click it, it actually plays audio. So you could do it one of two ways, and most people like to do the first option where you just have this play bar and it plays the audio. Most people don't like to have a big black screen when they're playing the audio. So I'm going to show you how to do the simple play bar, audio play bar in your WordPress blog using JW Player. Now, first off, I had to find uh, the code for JW Player and JW Player actually they have a website I'll provide a link it's pretty long but it, it they do have an audio only player and they show you how to do it they show you what it looks like and then what they do is they give you an embed code and that's how I got my audio player to work I copied the embed code and I placed it into my WordPress page so let's go back into my WordPress and I'm gonna show you the actual code and here's my code right here. Here's the code that I copied. And actually, I'm going to do it over again. So I'm going to make some space here so nobody gets confused. And I'm going to paste what I just copied from that website. This is the embed code. And you don't need to know all of it, but you do need to do, know one important thing. Uh, and that is right here where it says file and then there's this slash uploads my audio. We are going to replace what's in between the parentheses, excuse me, in between the quotation marks, quotation marks. We are going to provide the link to our audio file um, right in here. So where is the audio file? Well, we're using S3, Amazon S3. So what I need to do now is I need to go to my Amazon S3 um, console. The, the AWS console and if you have Amazon S3 you should be a little bit familiar with the AWS console and then I went to my bucket and I have an mp3 file and when I click that mp3 file it provides me with a link this link I'm going to copy now if you provided a, a person with this link they would be able to download it or click it but they would not be able to play it in a player so what we we want to do is we want to have it in the player so I'm gonna go back to my website because I copied that link and again in between the quotes that is where I'm gonna provide my Amazon S3 link that I just copied so I'm gonna paste that in right here you see how it changed here it is HTTPS S3 Amazon AWS and this is the actual file and then that's it. What I need to do now is I need to click update. And when the page updates, this page in particular is going to have more than one player because I've done this more than once, but there it is. So then I can click play and there it is. And I don't know if you can... And there we go. My audio file is now playing. And that's basically it. So if you ever wanted to do that over and over again, you just need to come in to this one, copy it and paste it, and then make sure that you change the uh, link to whatever audio file um, you want to play. Now, if you want to get really, really fancy, you don't need to, but if you want to get fancy, you can also change the width and the height. I wouldn't suggest changing the height too much um, because the higher it goes, it's going to look more like a video player. Uh, if you leave the height at 30 then it automatically is an audio player but you can have fun with the width I just shortened the width almost in half actually a little bit more than half and I'm gonna update the page and when I click view page I will now see a shorter audio player because I changed the width so there you go so you can actually customize this I could put this in a widget and have it on the right hand side of uh, my WordPress site if I wanted to uh, and I, I can go back in and I can make it longer if I want. I can change the width to something longer or change it to something shorter. The shorter it gets, it might look even funnier. Uh, so, you know, feel free to play around with this, but nothing's set in stone, so you can always change it. But just remember that you want this code, and I have it saved in my WordPress page right now, so if I ever wanted to do this again on another, another page or a post, I would just come here. But you can also go back to the link that JW Player actually provides and get the embed code right here.
The most important thing though is you have to change the file. Okay? So if you have any other questions, let me know uh, and I will try to help you out. Thanks.